of the world's best sites, as far as I'm concerned, for smoky quartz is the Zomba Plateau, Mount Molossa, Malawi. Absolutely natural smoky quartz, so these haven't been irradiated. And this one has been uh, infused, or maybe on the outside even, we're looking at agerine formations which often interlock with the quartz, intergrow with the quartz. Now, these quartzes are often filled with a lot of inclusions, or mainly with a lot of inclusions. So with strong lighting, you have almost a clear halo around the edges. And as we look into the crystal there, for instance, it appears that's actually, is that a little agerine crystal? I think that may be a little agerine, or, or maybe it's just an angle of the quartz. Now, so going around all the way here, very, very intricate, intricate uh, uh, formation. And uh, also, if you look at the general form of the crystal, it's got a chubby base and a thicker, uh, a thinner termination. So maybe Tess and Habit in mineralogical terms and a, uh, a witch's finger maybe in esoteric terms. Now let's have a look at the crystallization of these. So I'm going to move it so we see the reflections. Have a look at that intricate crystallization across the top. I think Lemurian uh, 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 writings are the most uh, uh, common, uh, whereas these would be uh, uh, broken uh, Lemurian writings, as you see here. Some, some writings and some smooth sections. All the way from the Zomba Plateau, Mount Molossa, Malawi. Smoky quartz with agerine. Absolutely natural smoky quartz that is. Look at that. Quite lovely. Look at that little halo on the side. So with strong lighting from behind.